So this is where we're working. This stamp job is way down on the main coastline. This is pretty typical of how the main coastline looks other than the beaches. A lot of rocks. But it's kind of foggy here today. On a sunny day, you'd be able to see way, way, way out there. Hey guys, so we're back here on our little stamp concrete patio job. I just wanted to show you what the main coast looks like on a sunny day. It was a little cloudy the other day. You can see the difference. You could see, you can see out there for miles. Just right for you in here. Based on how it feels, you know, I just showed you how far I can put.
the black one? Yeah. Straight up. Purple one under it. Yeah. Good. Come on, our truck. Yours. I don't care. Whatever the easier, it doesn't matter. Because as long as I can keep up on it, just go once. So that cuts that up into six foot by eight foot squares. That's plenty small enough for a slab. That's four inches thick. So hopefully that controls any of the cracks that could occur, the shrinkage cracks. Get most of all the dust and everything off. Get it wet. Then we'll dump the soap on it, scrub it. Dump, dump them on like that. And I'm gonna just start scrubbing it in and. We put release powder into the liquid release, mix it together, so if there is any excess powder that dried on there, we want to scrub that off too. Nice that looks after a good print. Really good. You also want to make sure you rinse all the soap residue off. You don't want to leave any of that on. That might keep the steel from bonding also. Yeah, so we'll just let that dry out. That took probably, what, 30 minutes to start and clean it. So we'll let it completely dry out for 24 hours. Then we can come back and spray on. We usually do three coats of sealer. 